CataractCoach.com, moving beyond divide and conquer. This beginning surgeon is learning to do stop and chop. Bravo. Now, I like divide and conquer. On rare occasions, I still do it. But I think you need to learn all the techniques here, advance your skills. So here it looks like a left-handed surgeon doing a groove down the middle. And you can tell a good groove where the surgeon is keeping the eye in primary and making the groove a little deeper in the center and a little shallower towards the periphery. That looks pretty good. Widening up the groove here. Again, I like this. Wish the camera was a little bit more centered, but we'll take what we can get. So a nice groove here. Now notice the groove is starting not sub-incisional, but starting kind of more in the center of the nucleus. So you may want to rotate this 180 before kind of cracking this, you know, complete that groove a little bit longer. So that's pretty good. I'd stop about here. I don't think you need to do much more than that. And, oh, okay, just trying to crack it. Yeah, that's a pretty reasonable crack or separation. But again, I don't know if it propagated all the way through. And part of the issue is I think the groove was not long enough. Okay, so now what? Oh, okay, maybe not quite stop and chop here. Maybe a little divide and conquer again. So I'm making another little groove here. And maybe trying to break up a little quadrant. Let's see. So again, not my favorite here. This is not looking too elegant. See how the eye's not in primary anymore? The eye's kind of being pushed away from the phago probe. Now there's a little piece coming up, and there's kind of a pretend chop. Let's get that one quadrant out. Let's get the eye back in primary. So I tell you, quit lifting up the phago probe hand. Lower the hand a little bit, get the eye back in primary. There we go. And now let's do a better job of separating the pieces here. Up oh, there we go. Now we've got another kind of big mega quadrant. Buzz into it, and now with the FACO chopper, go around the equator. Let's see. And where's the chopper? So again, so you have a finite window to get the chop done. So really nothing happened there with the chops. Okay, take this piece down. You still got a hemi-nucleus left. Here we go. Let's get this piece out of the way. Now with the remaining hemi-nucleus, it's important that you be able to accomplish at least a single chop. You got to learn to do this. So good job here getting that piece down. Okay, again, I wish the eye was a little bit better in primary. There we go. Now get that rotated. I like that. Good. Rotating with the second hand. There's the big hemi-nuclear piece. Now in the middle, vacuum, bring it towards you. But see how your chopper hit the piece. Go around the equator. Almost, almost vacuum and uh, kind of a chop. Now here's the catch. you got a finite window of time to accomplish the chop. Because as you buzz with the FACO probe, guess what happens? you start to lose suction. It only keeps that high suction for a little bit of time, a second or two. And especially in this case where when you tried to put the chopper around the equator, what ended up happening? You pushed the piece off the tip of the FACO probe, right? I'm proud of you for trying the chop. That's great. Now remember about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. We have so much great material there. There's a whole section on how to learn chop. It's free. I promise if you read it, you'll actually learn a lot. Seriously. Check it out. Again, catacoach.com, the teaching website. Yes, you have to leave YouTube for a second. You'll figure it out. Now, back to our case here. Now, taking out the rest of the cortex, the rest of the case should be pretty straightforward. So I want to first say thank you for keeping the idea that you have to advance your skills in mind. You can't do divide and conquer the rest of your life. I mean, you could, but you don't want to. You want to learn stop and chop, and then from stop and chop, you want to progress to chop. And you may find that, you know what, in your hands, you actually like divide and conquer the most. Okay, then do it. Make yourself happy. Nothing wrong with that. But I encourage you to learn everything. And that means you definitely got to advance the stop and chop. So you tried your best here. I do appreciate that. I thank you for sending the video in. As you know, with all these resident cases, we keep it totally anonymous. So you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, plan on accomplishing a beautiful stop and chop. And once you do that... Send another video in and we'll put it up there. Now, let's seal up that incision here soon, but is there any cortex left in the bag? I mean, I'm looking sub-incisionally. Maybe that's just the way the incision looks. But uh, lens is in the bag. Looks pretty good. I'm sure the patient will be very happy. So, yeah. Oh, that's just, I think that's just the incision. I don't think there's any cortex left. But good job here with your case. I'm proud of you for trying. It was not a good stop and chop case. I'm sorry to be honest. But you definitely need to improve those skills. Again, Try to get a better groove so you can have full separation of the pieces right off the bat. Divide it into two hemi-nuclear pieces and you chop each piece. There's a video on Cataract Coach. If you watch the curriculum series, you'll see it, where I show you how to use the chopper to hold one piece away to make more room, a bigger gap, to pull the other hemi-nucleus out of the bag, and that facilitates chopping. Again, so much great stuff to learn. Please, you owe it to yourself. Check it out. Go to that teaching website. Download the free PDF book. Put it in your phone, look at this, study this every day, and become a better surgeon.